Some teens led police on a chase at four in the morning through half a dozen counties. Now for the first time, we're seeing video of that pursuit that led to the highway patrol calling out its helicopter. That's right. Kenton Brown is live outside of the Warren County Jail where the driver and the car remains in jail. So Ken, what started all of this? Well, guys, I can tell you that this started in Hamilton County. Deputies in Hamilton County spotted a stolen car, started a chase. They ended up having to break that chase off, so they terminated it and kind of let other agencies know what was going on. Well, troopers here in Warren County later spotted that car driving through Warren County at speeds that were still way too fast. Troopers in Warren County get an alert to be on the lookout for a vehicle. Hamilton County deputies say ran from a traffic stop and was reported stolen. When the highway patrol spots the same car heading up Interstate 71, they clock it going 123 miles per hour. This vehicle was, I don't know if it was driving like that before. Hamilton County tried to stop it, but while they stopped it in between and then while we did it, it continued to drive at a high rate of speed. So that's that's obviously a concern to the public. Troopers say the man behind the wheel is still a teenager, 18-year-old Montez DeAndre Mason Warren. Troopers say Warren stayed on the gas for a chase that spanned six counties going through Hamilton, Warren, Clinton, Green, Fayette, before ending in Clark County. This vehicle was actually stolen out of Columbus, so at some point, um, the stolen vehicle made its way from Columbus all the way to Cincinnati and then kind of was I don't know if they were on their way back or where, but then we end up in Clark County and we go through four counties, end up in five counties. Troopers tell us Warren had three minors along for the ride with him during this pursuit. That's four teenagers out for a drive in a stolen car at four in the morning on a school night. This chase ended with a Honda driving off the road and through a fence. He's 31, just drove off the road. Right the field here. When the car crashed, the teens emptied out of the vehicle. I'll tase you! Stop! Some of these miners and, and younger individuals were getting with these stolen cars are from northern Kentucky, they're from northern Ohio, so they're everywhere in between. And unfortunately, it's, it's a trend that we've been seeing for a couple years. Um, so we're, we're doing our best to mitigate that. And you heard the foot pursuit going on there. Two of those teens gave up fairly quick after the car came to a stop. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, the helicopter was called out to help locate the remaining two teens that were hiding in a wood line. Officers there had set up a perimeter. Now, after this was all said and done, two of the teenagers were picked up by their parents. One of them was locked up in the juvenile detention center, and the other, the driver, Warren, remains locked up in the Warren County Jail behind me. Reporting live in Lebanon, Ken Brown, Fox 19 Now. Ken, thanks. Well, today marks 